The day that we actually dropped off the food was, uh, you know, probably the, the most important day of my entire 11-year cooking career. Working with the Food Bank of New York City is the most important part. And seeing it in reality is something that I could be extremely grateful for. We simply just rented a van, went to the restaurant, we collected everything that they would possibly be willing to give us, we packed it up, and drove to the Brooklyn Naval Yard to start processing the food. Fancy sauce. At some point in our five-year program, we can become totally self-sufficient without needing any type of donation or outside funding. So we brought back around 30 pounds of food from possibly only part of a full day of one restaurant. All the food's already there. It's all there. All we have to do is take it, give it to those who need it. It's simply what we do. So this is Matthew Jazriak. Matthew um, was a chef at New York's number one restaurant. The top restaurant in New York is called 11 Madison Park. What inspired you to the extent that you would change your entire life and make this the core of it? Well, I was doing a lot of uh, charity work as it was, helping a lot of different charities kind of find food and change their systems so that they can really get in there and solve the problem. Right. Um, and I also noticed that we're throwing away about 40% of our food. So just... Yeah, you know, people don't realize a lot of restaurants donate on a regular basis, including our television show, extra perishables at the end of the week, extra pantry items and all that. But there's literally prepared food in all of these top restaurants, right? Exactly, and it was hard beating that liability because people were really concerned about foodborne illness and we're the most concerned about it. Right. So what we did is we take it and we pasteurize it in accordance with the FDA, cool it down, freeze it, and give it out to the shelters that need it most. I think that's fabulous. Plus by freezing it, you increase the shelf life. Exactly, it's yeah. a shelf life issue. It's a huge It was shelf just life. a shelf life issue and he solved such an obvious problem. It's just brilliant, just brilliant. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, contribute, of course, because you rely on donations at this point. Yes. Jet.com, right guys? They're an online shopping site that sells groceries and home and fashion and brands. They heard about his story. They're giving you $5,000 and I'm matching. Oh my, can I have a hug? Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Now match at every nickel. <laughs> oh my God, it's great. I think that what you're doing is great. And I also think that the face of hunger in this country includes people that are your neighbors. Please take your whole family out. Go get to know your own food bank. Give them uh, uh, your time, your money, your old pots and pans, anything. Don't make your kids scared of it either. Take them right with you. They should know all of their neighbors, not just some of their neighbors. I think it's <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck and keep up the good work. And if you ever need a couple extra set of hands, you let me know. I will. Okay. Thank you you're, so much. You're an angel. <laughs> Thanks, Donna.